Well, that's it. The 2011 Kids' Choice Awards are finally about to start. I need to go and take my seat as one of the nominees. The winner is... Jamie Rickards. Now, I'm gonna finish this off, okay? All right. A little bit of a test. I like how you like. You know. I feel like I'm getting ready to like get into a, a huddle. I'll huddle you whenever you like. No worries. Okay. <laughs> First question, though. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for joining me. Many of you in this room are my friends. You're not. I stand before you today, knowing this: there are thousands, you no know, millions of people all over the world who look up to me as a model, a role model. Sorry. I have let them down. I failed to recognise the contribution of the people that write this show. That 5% they add to my show may seem insignificant. 5%? Is that it? 5% I can make that up and be... All right, all right. Have you ever had a pet like Boo? I don't mean if you had a grizzly bear tied up in your back garden, but, yeah. you know, an animal or a pet that's kind of overly domesticated, sleeps in your bed, that kind of thing. I used to have a cat that head butted me. <laughs> so it's definitely a Scottish cat. It's the beavers that first tell the children about the prophecy and they don't yeah. believe you. And then I suppose it's only realised properly when, when Aslan is, is... It sounds like you've read the book or something or you know oh, what this film's about. I'm trying to... Trying to don't shake your hand because you're the first person who seems to know anything about this story that I've spoken to. Uh, really? Yeah, well done. Oh, thank you. Well done. Um, I'm trying to remember the question again. What next? Uh, well, I haven't read book two yet. Oh, OK. <laughs> <laughs> and then tomorrow, the pièce de résistance, the icing on the cake, they then get to meet Prince Charles at Clarence House but get more food, so you've got to eat, eat and eat, haven't you, really? Oh, Credit crunch and everything, so, you know, you're still going to try your hardest. There you go, one for you, one for you, there you go, one for you. Don't shake it, it's not all boiled. <laughs> <laughs> now, there are 22 awards being presented and, of course, one tonight, ranging from best video game to feature film and, of course, best performer and presenter. Don't get your hopes up. Again. <laughs> you haven't won. Again. <laughs> yeah, have you guys got tickets? Yeah. Oh, can I have yours? No. <laughs> Stick around, guys, because we've got that very special thing Give me a next ticket. episode. <laughs> I think so, Roger, after the break. And for the record, you don't need a ticket. Leave them alone, Jamie! CBBC has managed to attract really incredible mm, talent. Yeah. Absolutely. And, uh, and Thank you. I'm very proud to be a part of that. <laughs> it's nice of you to say that, my ex-producer. <laughs> now, was it good fun coming to work every single day knowing that you were going to be on the receiving end of Tim's doggy urges? <laughs> OK. <laughs> Hi, Jamie. I'm the cleverest of the clever, the almanac of all knowledge, the Stuart Fry of children's television. Stephen. Yes, yes, the Stuart Stephen of children's <laughs> television. You, fancy pants. Is it true that this year there are special awards only voted for by kids in the UK? Nice try, Mr. Rickers, but that British charm isn't going to work on me. Oh, cheerio, old bee. Next, Jamie Rickers. I wish it was me.